How's it going guys, my name is Jagmaster from 2 and welcome to another continuation of Ulux Savers and Mr. Wayfarer Out's 2D Minecraft. So now we're going to we're going to add block names. So to do that we need to go to the inventory class file or dot java whatever you want to call it. I prefer to call it class files. So we're going to load this up when my computer decides to do it. Okay, and we want to make some variables here. We want to make a string, public, static, string, block name, but we don't want to name it anything. So we just close it off with a semicolon. Still recording? It's frozen. Oh, frozen for a second. And then we want to make a couple of integers. Public static integer. Box X. So now we're gonna put it in the top right. So a decent size we're gonna do equal to 50. And then we want to make another integer, make box Y. So public static int box y is equal to 20 that's for the block box the the right the block names are going to be in their size so now we're going to make another integer for the position public did i put public static integer box x x position uh, position so we're going to put the, the box currently in the top right corner because I've moved around my FPS counter from Mr. Way Far Out. <coughs> X position. Are you going to type it in or not, computer? Why am I getting an error? No, no, no. Is he called to 290? Sorry, I'm dying at first. Uh, 290. Oh mate, oh. I need to make another integer for the position y position. Public static int box y position. It seems to only crash me when I push cat lock, and I keep forgetting these vital cat locks places. Position is equal to. Five. Now I need to make an intro for the name, the name of the block X, and the name of the blocks Y. I don't know if that was. Recorded. I'll have to watch it later. Public. Why? I got nothing open on my computer. Static. Come on! What? Where's my mouse? There it is. Int name X. I can't do anything on this thing. Is equal. 300 and bandy count. If the explanation gets cut off, I'm going to explain this all after. Public static int name y equal to 20. So allow me to explain this. New tip, don't highlight words. Block name returns the block name. So if what the block you set. The block X is the boxes X and Y in size. So the X and the Y. 
blocks X and Y positions is the position on the screen. And the name X and Y is the name's position on the X. So so we don't really need set a size because we join a string, aren't we? So now we want to go down to render is holding. If when if and where Mr. Wayfire does his stack video, you'd put it underneath the stack method. Well the stack if statement. We want to do g dot set color color dot black. No. Yeah, black. Tony, don't even think about barking. Oh, now you tell me. Right time. <coughs> Hang on a second. Out. <coughs> oh, bloody postman. I just realised I had my headphones in. Oh man. Why? 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 What could possibly be causing an error? I pushed semicolon on. There we go. Underneath this we need to fill rectangles. So we do G dot fill rect. <laughs> I uh, probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, why is this loading? Don't you dare do auto fail! Why? Why do they have that? It's just funny to my computer trying to record! I'll get rid of that. Now we want to put in the X Y box X position box Y position box X and box Y. Now you know why we use a variable. Why am I getting? Uh, I'll put blocks. Uh, I hate when you do that. Uh, food. It is ridiculous. I've done the same here with box. So now you know how I made those variables. Now we want to do g dot set color color dot white. We'll close that off. Hopefully that was picked up from the recording. So now I'm going to do draw string plus block name at name x and name y. We'll close that off. My mouse gone. Clips is not responding. Patience. Shit, spastic. Come on! Why did you do this to me? Why am I cursed with shit? DL. Get rid of that. And we'll fret the end of that. Name X and name Y. And we'll close that off.
And now, uh, after we've done that, and we've closed it off, that is it. With that, now what we're going to do is the method. So, underneath this render, I want to make a new string method. Public static string. Wow! Deal with it. P. Great. Where's the rest of it? P. Yep, it is. Public static string get name. And we want to return uh, to any of what, I, what you set. It will return the name to that. It will return nothing. So now we want to do if holding ID is equal equal to tile dot earth or in my case dirt some wire bits where you want it drawing or if it's like larger so you need your box moving back and then making it bigger, bigger. So for me, we're going to shrink the box to fit that. So we're going to do box x is equal to 40. And now we're going to do return. What, where's my semicolon? I put in the semicolon. Is equal. And I will be seeing you guys when I put in all my blocks. Pause. 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 I don't know if you do to wake up. Okay. So once you've inserted all of your block names or item names like I have. Just finished doing. You want to go to the tick method. Go right. You go to component. Tick, they do inventory dot tick. Simple as that. So I click and we go up to tick and we do here we do get name. And now Oh why did it done. That's it. Block name's done. Yeah guys, so um, I've just tested it off camera because it works, I can tell you that. But because my computer has literally melted into it, okay, so it works, but you have my word for. And yeah, but I recommend that each block you set a custom, uh, same as the previous one. So if you want to stay as a default, you just click. Go to the block you want the default one as and do block X and Y and whatever. The position, because it will keep the position as well. So you want to do X, Y, position, X and Y to solve it all. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If um, you guys want to see anything else, let me know in the description. Description there, comments. And uh, yeah, guys, subscribe and leave comments.